So one of the most common questions I get is what color should your poop be? And a lot of times people are worried when the color of their poop comes out a little bit strange. And I'm gonna go through that in this video and what you should be looking for when it comes to healthy bowel movements. As a doctor of natural medicine, many of you guys who've been listening to my videos know I'm a huge advocate of good, healthy bowel movements. This is how you get your body healthy. You've gotta pee and poop your way to good health. This is how we get rid of toxic debris in our system. So it's very, very important that we have good bowel habits. If food is sitting in our gut and putrefying and it's not coming out, it's releasing all kinds of endotoxins that drive up inflammation in our body that cause all kinds of unwanted symptoms. So we need to make sure we're having good regular bowel movements, one to maybe three or four in a day, depending on how much you ate the day before. You need to make sure that your body is flushing the waste out. I recommend you know, making sure, like if, you, if I ate a meal at, let's say 12 o'clock, uh, 12 p.m., that I should have the waste from that meal should be out of my body by 12 p.m. the next day. So you don't want it to let it sit in there for more than 24 hours or bad things happen. Now, let's look at the color of bowel movements. Most of us are familiar with good brown bowel movements. In fact, it's kind of funny, but when you look down after you finish your bowel movement, it should look like a coiled brown snake looking back up at you, right? Kind of a funny, funny, uh, a uh, way of, of seeing it, but that's really the healthiest bowel movement that you have. And so brown is normal, that's actually the bile, so your body's getting rid of uh, excess or old bile, and it makes the feces turn brown, and with the bile actually comes toxins, right? So it's helping get the toxins out, and most of your stool is actually bacteria and bacterial debris. So it's fiber, it's undigested, you know, food waste, right? So it's mostly the fiber component of it. With meat, it can be like some of the kind of collagenous tissue that's harder to digest, along with bacteria and bacterial waste that's actually coming out of your body. And so it should be brown. If your bowel movement, let's say if it's green, okay? Now, any, like if you just have one bowel movement that's off color, I don't get overly concerned about that, all right? However, if you're seeing multiple bowel movements in a certain kind of unusual color, then it is something to consider. When it comes to green, a green bowel movement usually means nothing. You may have just had more green vegetables or something with green dye. Um, shouldn't really be an issue if it's green. Another color that we see is yellow. Yellow typically means that you consumed a lot of fat, especially if it's floating and greasy at the top. It means that it's, that, that you consumed a lot of fat and your body wasn't able to digest and metabolize it very well. So that's what we'll see with yellow. Orange could mean that, you know, basically you just ate a lot of carrots or maybe sweet potato, something orange, has a lot of beta carotene in it. So orange, all those things typically fine, nothing wrong with that. Um, obviously, if you didn't digest fat well and it's floating, could indicate there's something wrong with your liver, your bile, your bile flow through your liver and your gallbladder. Maybe you're not producing enough uh, bile or you have very sluggish congested bile flow, or maybe you don't have a gallbladder, you consume too much fat in the meal. So that is something to be aware of and something to, to focus on. Black bowel movements. This is where we start to look at it and be like, okay, what's going on here with a black bowel movement? Oftentimes it's nothing, right? Oftentimes there's, there's no big deal with it, or maybe you took like activated charcoal, for example. Activated charcoal is a powerful binder that will bind to mycotoxins, bad bacteria, things like that in your gut. In fact, if you were to overdose on, let's say ibuprofen or Tylenol or something like that, and they rush you to the hospital, it would actually flood your system with charcoal because it's a binder and it helps bind and pull that stuff out of your system. And a lot of people in the health community are taking charcoal, and it's something I've recommended in the past as well, for helping pull toxins and bacterial debris out of your gut. Sometimes it can make your stool look black, so that's no big deal, however, if it's like black and tarry and you didn't have charcoal, it may be a sign that you have an ulcer. When you have a bleed in the upper part of your digestive system, like your stomach, upper region of your small intestine, the, what it looks like when it comes out is black. And so if you're seeing this kind of continuously black stool, it could indicate that you have an ulcer. So you wanna look out for any sort of um, red flags that may indicate you have an ulcer. For example, one way to do it is, Take a little bit of apple cider vinegar and water and drink that before a meal. There's a lot of great health benefits to apple cider vinegar and water. So when you take that before a meal, uh, if you have an ulcer, it can irritate the ulcer and cause more burning. And that's, again, a sign that you have an ulcer. So if you put that together with a black stool, could be a sign you have an ulcer, 
guys. I have a great article on drjockers.com all about what you need to do to help heal an ulcer. So you can check that out if that's you. How about a white bowel movement? A white bowel movement may just be because you took too much uh, of certain compounds like bismuth. Maybe you had diarrhea at some point and you took uh, Pepto-Bismol or something like that or, or uh, something with bismuth in it. That could actually cause a white bowel movement. However, again, if you're seeing multiple bowel, bowel movements that are white, that can indicate sluggish bile flow. Just like we talked about with yellow, especially if it's floating near the top, we're not getting enough bile into the, bowel, the, into the bowels, and then therefore we're not gonna digest fat very effectively. So you shouldn't have white or pale bowel movements very often. They should be more clay colored or brown. Um, so again, look out for that if it's white, if it's black, and then finally, if it's red. Now, you may be familiar with a red bowel movement if you, for example, had beets, right? If you ate, consumed some beets, the pigment in the beets, which is very strong red-purple, will definitely cause more of a red-purple if you consume enough uh, bowel movement. And there's obviously nothing wrong with that. Beets are actually very healthy food, and uh, you know that's just how, the, how your body eliminates the waste from the beets. However, if you didn't consume beets or anything with like red dye, a strong red dye in it, and you're seeing red and it almost looks like blood, it probably is. And again, the black, if you're seeing the black, that's more from the upper digestive system, whereas red is gonna be more from the colon or lower part of your digestive system, so large intestine and colon. So if you're seeing that, that could indicate uh, something like uh, colitis, ulcerative colitis, or Crohn's disease, or you know potentially even a tumor in there. So, or hemorrhoids, or something like that. So, definitely a sign to you know to look and go go and uh, and check that out with your doctor if you're seeing anything that resembles blood that's not related to eating a beet or red dye. Okay, so red, black, and white are really where we need to be a little bit more concerned when it comes to our bowel movements. Obviously, very very important topic. We need to make sure we're moving our bowels regularly, and we need to make sure our bowels as much as possible are looking like that coiled brown snake looking back up at us. That's a sign of a healthy bowel movement, healthy gut microbiome, and healthy digestion. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, now is the time to do that. And go ahead and hit the bell button. That way you get notified whenever I put up a new video so you never miss one of these important trainings. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you for being a part of our community.